Welcome to part 2 of this vlog! If you guys haven't watched part 1 yet, I would appreciate it if you watch it as well. I will put the link in the description box below. Alright, are you gems ready for another adventure with me? Come and join me as we explore this mystical island located in central Visayas. Hello my beautiful gems! Welcome to another episode of Saffir's Diary! From Dumaguete, we bought a ticket for a boat ride going to Siquijor. And now we have arrived at the port of Dumaguete with a terminal fee of 15 pesos. Upon arriving at Siquijor, we immediately rented a motorcycle as our mode of transportation for our whole stay. <laughs> it's Z's first time riding a motorcycle with a passenger. That's why I'm kind of nervous. But I have faith in Z that she will keep us safe. I trust you with all my heart and with all my soul. You're heavy, baby. What? Yeah, you guys, we are not going to be able to do it ever. Mm. It's our first time for everything. <laughs> oh my god. Right now, we are going to look for a place to have dinner. In this area, the restaurants close so early. My goodness, we're having a hard time looking for a restaurant that is open for 24 hours. We finally found a place that is open at this time. <laughs> Monkey business. <laughs> In all fairness, their food is already worth its price and it's actually delicious. Mm -hmm. Morning, baby. By the way, we booked our accommodation here at Adayo Cove Resort. We booked this room for 5,900 pesos for two nights, good for four people. The weather is a little bit gloomy, but I'm actually okay with it because lately it has been so hot. Our first stop is the Dubod Marine Sanctuary. Dubod Marine Sanctuary is known for its rich biodiversity and crystal clear waters that are perfect for scuba divers and tourists alike. Okay, not kayo lang lahat. Apat. 300 lang. 300 lang. Uh -oh. Mas mabuti my guide, ma'am, kasi makaano kayo ng water test. Tapos, may boat yan. Wala. Ano lang, mag, may life ring, tapos mag, ano lang kayo, hilain yan. May uh -oh. guide yan. And mag, pwede din kayo mag life best, pray lang yung life best na, hindi kayo mapagod. Guide na kayo, tapos, uh, ano, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, tapos yung rider 300, okay. one one lahat. Okay. Okay. So, so isulat yung naman ang pangalan niyo apat. It's, it's still so early. It's exactly 9 a.m. here in Tubod Marine Sanctuary. And we're gonna go snorkeling. I hope we can see some turtles. Turtles. Yeah, they said they have turtles here. Or you can see turtles here. And uh, we're gonna do some arm workout along the way because we're just gonna hold on to a rope, I think. I'm just gonna hold on to something. <laughs> All the way there. It's true that their water is really crystal clear. You can really see the fishes and the corals. You can also see how much fat they buy. Such a water baby. <laughs> we're done snorkeling at the Wood Marine Sanctuary. Now we're gonna head on to our next destination. Our next destination is Pitago Cliff. The rainy weather. <laughs> Whether you're trying to conquer your fear of heights or you just want a stunning backdrop for your pictures, this place would be perfect for you. We're gonna have some lunch first before we head on to our next destination. It was really fun. The place, the place is really beautiful. I did a bad landing, my butt hurts, but it's okay. We actually want to try again. <laughs> Wow. 
Look at their ice cream jams, it's so aesthetic and it actually tastes really nice too, for a sweet tooth like me. After eating our desserts, we went to their Balete tree to buy some souvenirs. In here, you can find not just the usual souvenirs, but you can also find love potions, which is actually very intriguing. But you know, we don't need that. We good. We are on to our next destination, which is another popular tourist spot here, and that is their Kambugai Falls. <laughs> <laughs> After Kambugai Falls, we're gonna be on our way to Kagusuan Beach. But this is where things get a little bit confusing. The signages here in Sukihor are very confusing. Are you going to Kagusuan Beach? We're going there too. But it says no entry. <laughs> Yeah. Well, they left it a bit open. Yeah. yeah, should we just walk then? Is it there? I think so. I forgot my mobile phone. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Ah, so do I the Ang katong usa ka dalan kay dead end. Neil is trying to converse with the owner of the Thank property so and ask for directions. So, at this point, we all Say felt it. very lost yeah. and confused. One way. Ah. But we haven't tried the other one. Okay, the other one is uh Spray the road? Yes. Ah, okay. This is the struggle when you don't have a tour guide or you don't know a local from here or from a certain place. <laughs> and you just depend on Google. <laughs> I think this is it. I think this is it. Turns out it still wasn't the right way, I guess. At least we saw some parts of the beach. <laughs> Okay, we will just go to our next destination. To no Kagusulan Beach for our second door. <laughs> Time for us to go to Nambon Terraces. Nambon Terraces is a place here in Sikihor where you can experience the breathtaking sunset. You can also dine here in the restaurant. This is a perfect spot for you to just relax and enjoy the view. We already back here at Adayo Cove Resort and the next thing that we are going to do is to go to this specific location at San Juan Sikihor to have our dinner and maybe get some drinks as well. So right now we are just gonna prep and get changed. We went to JJ's Backpackers Village to eat some dinner and just chill. Their prices were affordable, the food was so-so for my personal taste, and uh, we didn't really get to stay that long because it got too crowded and overwhelming. Good morning my beautiful gems, today is our third and last day here in Sikihor. We might go to one or two destinations before we travel back to Dumaguete. But first off, breakfast! We're here at Janine's Cafe to have our breakfast and this place seems to be a very nice place to chill. Their food and drinks were nice and refreshing. We're back on the road again. Guys, it's another private property. <laughs> but they say this is the way to the swing here in Paliton Beach. <laughs> and again, it's a private property. They say Paliton Beach is one of the most famous tourist spots here in Sikihor because of its white sand and it's close to civilization <laughs> to be honest i just came here for the swing you should have went here in paliton beach instead of kagusuan beach yesterday <laughs> so apparently they have a different entrance here in paliton beach but it's not registered in google maps that's why we weren't able to see it again it's like the same incident in kagusuan beach Yay! swinging time you guys can see it but i was scared as heck during that time Guys, I wasn't prepared. I thought it was just, you know, just a normal swing and in my own pace. But oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting that I would be pushed. <sighs> but I guess it's another day to conquer fear of heights. Traveling back to Dumaguete now. 
the crew is back here in the Magueta again. We're just going to get ourselves checked in. And then let's see what we can do for the rest of the night. We booked this affordable accommodation for two packs overnight stay for 700 pesos but they have a deposit of 100 pesos we're just gonna settle down for a bit and then we will go out for dinner for dinner we decided or i decided to go to why not because because why not <laughs> i didn't get that but yes, because when I was staying here in Dumaguete, I remember that they serve big portions uh, and uh, we're starving. So it would be the perfect place to go. I hope it's still the same though. We're not going to take the pedicab. We're just going to stroll. I miss Dumaguete so much. We are already here at Why Not? The place is jam-packed with a lot of people. <gasps> I'm so excited to order and to eat. They have a one-time salad. We ask for an understanding of our side dish called complimentary salad bar. Please respect the rule not to share. Oh, thank you for your support. I'm telling you, Gems, you should give this restaurant a visit when you're here in Dumaguete. Good morning, my beautiful gems. Today is our last day here in Dumaguete City. We don't have a final itinerary for today, but we'll probably eat some lunch and then grab some coffee before we go to the airport. We are here at Cafe Racer to have our lunch, and I can say that the place has changed so much since I've been here. It's so much more beautiful now. Let's just alert and just take a picture about the receipt from the Avanti to Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for the food, Dave. They also have some arcade games that you can play. For desserts, I made Z try Sans Reval. One of my faves here is their carrot cake. You should try it out too! We are on our way to the airport now. Can I just give a shout out to Cebu Pacific? I mean, most of the travels we booked locally is care of Cebu Pacific. So thank you, Sebpac, for the cheap and affordable flights. We are back home, and this caps off our episode of Sapphire's Diary. Thank you so much for exploring with me. I hope you guys made it until the end. Stay safe, everyone, and see you guys again on my next venture. <laughs>